Yes, I have inspired you in even the littlest way to declutter your kitchen and you're wondering where to start and what to get rid of. Here are 12 things that I got rid of from my kitchen and it really, really helped. First thing to get rid of in your kitchen is things that are broken. Like this cup, this mug I was showing you, its, it's edges are ripped. So now if someone drinks with these, it's, they're really more likely to get their mouths cut or their lips or something. So this is one of the things to get rid of. If anything, whatever is broken in your kitchen, you don't need that, you have enough. Look at this, just look at this. This is a container, yes, but look. Why am I keeping this? Why have I been keeping this? I have no clue. And look at this one. Okay, I have really loved this cooking stick. It's so great for rice and anything, but it's broken. And I have really been just using it like this. And why? I have more than enough serving spoons. So these are the things to get rid of. Things that are broken is the first thing that you get rid of in your kitchen. Number two is things that are in excess. Like I said, these milk bottles, we had 12. We only use four in any given week. And even if I want to keep extra, I only kept two extra, so I kept six. So why was I keeping 12? So anything that is in excess, know what you need and then get rid of the rest. Bless someone else. The third thing is things that do not match. Let me show you. See, I have these plates. They're very nice plates, but they're only two. I have a family of six, plus our house help, we are seven. So these ones, they're not serving us. And I had quite a number. Look at this one. This is just one plate. These are only two. Very nice, but only two. You see? So anything that you feel does not match with your kitchen and, you, and it's not matching with the sets that you have, you can also declutter that. Number four is things that are too small. Like our little teapot that we were talking about earlier. I mean, seriously, even I wouldn't be able to just get enough of the coffee in this thing. So I don't think, this is it's more like a toy. And then look, it's like someone broke the cover and then put, I have no idea where this came from, and decided to just put, I mean. So things that are too small. The fifth thing, is things that are too too big as much as we love serving dishes and this is very pretty but it's way too big we never use it it's too big number six is things that you have not used in the last six months in your kitchen those are the things you get rid of case in point this tray i honestly don't know where this tray came from it's been in my house for like seven to eight years and I never use it. I don't like it. It's plastic. It looks a funny type of way. And maybe it might be able to bless someone else. So I haven't used it not only in the last six months, probably in the last six years and more, I haven't used it. Ask me why I've been keeping it in my kitchen. I have no clue. The seventh thing to get rid of from your kitchen when you're decluttering, if you feel so inclined, is things that people have outgrown. Look at this. Look at this cute thing. Oh, it is so cute. It was for my daughter back when she used to use sippy cups. And now, let me tell you, even our last one has outgrown sippy cups. So why? And I had so many sippy cups in this house. So, so many. So, yeah, things that people have outgrown, just let them go to bless someone else who has their own cute little baby. The eighth thing to declutter from the kitchen is things that don't work. Like today, I got rid of my blender because I told you guys it's dead and buried. Okay, it's too big to hold up, but basically electronics that are not working, doesn't matter how long you keep them, they're not going to revive. They're not waiting for the rapture to come back to life like the rest of us. Those ones are dead and gone. The nine things you get rid of are things that are missing parts. For instance, as I said, this our cute little teapot, assuming it was big enough, but look, it doesn't have a cover. It has a cover that doesn't match the pot and it's just anything that is missing parts why are you keeping it just like the other part is going to show up and, and and you know and come back one day it's not it's gone it's gone so let's get rid of it the 10 things you get rid of from your kitchen are things that no longer work for you case in point 
I'm, I'm so done with these spoons. They don't work for me anymore. I mean, they no, they don't. I'm sorry, but they don't. So let me bless someone else who might find them more useful. The 11th thing to declutter from your kitchen is those just in case things. Let me show you. I love glass containers and mason jars. All right, these are these are cute. I think they're cool. And when they are washed, they look like this. Oh, and they look so pretty. And I keep them just in case, just in case I need a container, just in case, just in case. But I end up keeping so many and that just in case it never really gets here. So why am I keeping them? Let me just get rid of them. They just, they, they let them go bless someone else, you know? And if you are enjoying this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it lets YouTube know that this is the kind of content that you like and YouTube recommends it to other people. And then it helps our channel to grow. And if you haven't subscribed or hit the notification bell, kindly do so. The 12th thing to get rid of from your kitchen when you decide to declutter is anything that you feel is unsafe. All right, let me show you. Case in point, Teflon. Yes, let me tell you, I have such a love-hate relationship with these pans and pots. I bought a whole set, like, I think eight years ago. It was really expensive, and back then, nonstick was all the rage. Until someone, some working men discovered that, oh, unfortunately, Teflon is cancerous, and oh my gosh. And now I had gotten rid of all my other pots because, hello, I was upgrading. And now what would I do? So honestly, I've been using them. So I've been using them, but very reluctantly. Until recently, I just decided to buy myself a ceramic, ceramic what? A ceramic pan, and I'm getting rid, I'm getting rid of all this. I haven't managed to replace my cooking pots, just the pans, but I'm really working hard. I'm really working hard to get rid of all of them. As I pray for the Lord to keep us all safe, because oh my gosh. So yeah, anything that you feel might be unsafe, just get rid of it, or plan to replace it. If you can get rid of all of them in one day, more power to you. And some of us are doing it gradually and just believing that the Lord will keep protecting us. So these are just some of the 12 things that we should, I feel, would be nice to get rid of from our kitchen when we're decluttering. Let me know in the comments below whether you would consider decluttering your kitchen. And if not, what is keeping you from doing it? And if you have found this video interesting, I'm sure you will like this one over here and this playlist over here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.